welcome back to another fun explode with you kids. Today we're gonna make something fun. A Play-Doh game controller. But first we need to make our own Play-Doh because we need to make controller keys. We need two cups of flour. And cup it in. And we're going to pour it all into our mixing pot. Oh, no. That's my turn. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I this is good. Guess what? We'll only use ingredients that are safe to eat, so it's super safe for awesome kids like you. You can say how many flowers you not eating. Get a grown-up to help you gather all the stuff you need. <laughs> Very good. That's a great idea, Flatania. Now it looks like a giant herb. It's snowing, you kids. <laughs> First, we add one cup of salt. Now, let's add in one cup of salt. That's a lot of salt, but trust me, it's essential for the perfect Play-Doh. You kids, why do you think we add a cup of salt? I know, I know. Salt helps stop the germs from growing. Also, bacteria will stop growing. You kids, subscribe and check another You Kids video. Wash your hands. And next, we'll add in two tablespoons of cream of tartar. Why are we adding cream of tartar? Cream of tartar is used. It'll be used when we bake very soft chocolate cookies. You are right, Yuna. Cream of tartar is like a special ingredient we use when baking yummy chocolate cookies. <laughs> It helps make them soft and tasty. Adding cream of tartar makes our Play-Doh feel extra smooth and nice to touch. It helps it stick together better, like magic. Now, you kids are going to add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I just poured one teaspoon of cooking oil. Let's pour in one cup of slightly warm water. This is one cup of water. Just do it, it's your chance. Whoa, it looks creamy. Can I agitate? I'm gonna agitate. Yeah, I can agitate. There we go. Everything's in. Does it look like Play-Doh? Not yet. No. It feels like Play-Doh, but actually doesn't look like Play-Doh. Now, squish and mix the dough with your hands until it feels like Play-Doh. Wishy, wishy. Squish. Let's mix it, Connie. Let's mix it. A few minutes later. Does it look like Play-Doh now? Yes. If you want colorful Play-Doh, a few drops of food coloring and mix it until it's colorful. Awesome job adding the colors. You kids, now let's squish and mix again. Now I'm ready to make a Play-Doh game controller. <laughs> I'm gonna make right, left, up, down, space, key bars. You need to help me please. Oh. <laughs> This is the space key bar. I'm gonna show mine to the you kids. This is my space key bar. Oh, well, we got boobies. You kids, we're gonna play a game. I'm gonna play the soccer game. Do you wanna play soccer game, Yumi, since you've never did? Yeah! I've been playing challenge soccer game with Papa. So I have to put it here. No, that's what you hold, okay? Oh, don't forget to connect the alligator clip to the R signal. And the other side of the alligator clip holds with your hand. Think of this earth connection as a light on an off switch. If you don't connect your body, our game control will turn off. When you hold it, the game control will turn on. Science behind. My name is Electron. Imagine electrons like tiny bugs always wanting to find their way to the ground. This special tiny bug can only travel through certain things like metal, water. These are called conductor. Electrons can pass through. I don't like to travel through clay or wood. These are called non-conductor. Electrons can't pass through. This is called semiconductor. Semiconductor can control on or off electrons' road. So, when we connect an alligator clip to our body, the little tiny bugs can travel through because our body is made of water. 
Now you kids, let's guess how the little bug travels through Play-Doh. I know, I know, because we added water in our Play-Doh. So the little bug can travel through our Play-Doh. Yuna is right. Human body is made of water, so I can travel through human body. If you don't hold an alligator clip, I cannot travel through you. It works like on and off switch. If you want to more about this machine, click like and subscribe button. I'll make more videos. I can play play the piano, water drums, computer mouse, keyboard, and more. Don't forget, if you have any leftover Play-Doh, you can store it in the Ziploc. You can use your Play-Doh up to six months. Please subscribe and stay curious. Bye-bye. See you in the next U Kids channel. Bye.